To gain access to the bolts that hold on the OEM spoiler, you need to remove the trunk lid liner. Remove the push clips holding on the liner. There are two trunk bumpers that need to be removed. To remove these, twist them counterclockwise and pull. There's a cover on the trunk latch that also needs to be removed. Pry it back so you can get your fingers under it and then pull it straight down. Remove the rubber plugs on the outermost edge to gain access to the outside nuts and bolts. There's a total of four nuts that need to come off to remove the OEM spoiler. Take special care when you remove the nuts so you don't accidentally drop them down into the trunk cavity where they'd be difficult to get out. In addition to the bolts, there's double-sided tape that adheres the OEM spoiler to the trunk lid. Using some type of plastic or non-scratching wedge, you'll need to pry the spoiler away from the trunk lid. Lastly, there's red clips that ride inside an ovalized hole in the trunk lid. You can slide the clips over to the side from underneath the trunk lid, or if you pull hard enough, the spoiler will still come off. We used a specialized drill attachment that's designed to remove any excess tape or glue left behind. Your spoiler comes with indexing strips with pins that push into the holes on the spoiler. With a small piece of tape, put the pins inside of the mounting holes. Place the spoiler onto the trunk in the position you want it mounted. The back edge of the spoiler should align with the back edge of the trunk. The spoiler base is contoured to fit the contour of the trunk. Aggressively tape down the exposed portion of your indexing strips. Now when you remove the spoiler, the strips stay mounted and mark the area where you should drill your holes. Use the provided O-rings so you can seal the hole when mounting up your spoiler. Bolt on your new Anderson Composite spoiler and reinstall the trunk liner in the same order you took it off. 